we might see someone with a breast infection. Dr. Lauren Cornell is a breast medicine specialist who diagnoses and treats various breast conditions. We might see someone, uh, even men, with benign breast tissue growth, which we call gynecomastia. We might see someone uh, with fibrocystic changes of the breast, which impact their quality of life, but don't increase cancer risk. She talks with patients about screenings and checks for any potential cancer concerns. Dr. Cornell says many factors, including family history, contribute to a person's risk of developing breast cancer. It can also include their mammographic breast density, their reproductive history, hormone exposures over the course of their lifetime. The list goes on and on. A breast specialist can also provide patients with an individualized cancer risk assessment and then use the information to develop a prevention plan. It's important to discuss lifestyle factors to lower their breast cancer risk, which would include regular cardiovascular exercise, um, maintaining a healthy body weight, limiting alcohol, and focusing on a whole food plant-based diet. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Sonia Goins.